YouTube, what is going on, man? It's your boy Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy, the Fashion and Fragrance Guy. I talk about fragrances on this channel primarily, but I am going to throw in some style tips and some grooming tips as well. Listen, if you're going to be smelling good by applying fragrance, hopefully you are looking your best as well, all right? So if you're into that kind of content, make sure you hit subscribe. And don't forget to enable notifications by hitting the bell icon as well, so that way anytime I upload a new video, you'll be one of the first people to get notified. All right, guys, winter is right upon us. And I love talking fragrances, especially in the fall and winter time. In my humble opinion, uh, you get to get in some of the, uh, into some of the most creative fragrances in this season. Well, in these seasons, I should say, the fall and winter. Listen, uh, don't get me wrong. I love my fresh fragrances. I love my citrus fragrances, my aquatics as well, my blue fragrances. But again, uh, I think the... Fall and winter, these heavier, more resinous, sweet, balsamic, creamy fragrances are uh, give you a chance to wear things that have more complexity and a lot of times more creativity, uh, comparatively speaking. So that's why I love talking fragrances this time of year. And with winter being right around the corner, I wanted to go through my collection and give you some fragrances that I feel like are complete, absolute 10 out of 10 fragrances as it relates to the winter season. So in my humble opinion, I would put the word masterpiece on these fragrances because they are 1000% appropriate for the winter season. So if you want to see what I have on the list today, you guys know the routine. Keep it locked right here. Let's get it. Let's go time. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we are back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. We're going to jump right into this video. This first one is easily, easily, in my humble opinion, a 10 out of 10 fragrance. Beyond appropriate to wear in the winter season. And it comes from the brand of Frederick Mall. And this one is called Musk Revajol. Musk Ravageur, this is musk, cinnamon, cloves, and tonka bean are some of the main notes. Now, this fragrance was released, I think, in, two, in the year 2000, and it was done by none other than Maurice Roussel. He actually has another fragrance on this list, and we'll get to that a little bit later, but listen, this guy's warm cinnamon. That's what it smells like, a warm cinnamon with cloves. Um, again, that clove opening to this fragrance can be a little bit different, maybe even you can say challenging for some folks. I will tell you, having this batch, which I think was released around 2017, 18 maybe, and a 2010 batch, the clothes have been kind of toned down. All right, so maybe even for some of you that smelled this years ago, you may want to go back and revisit it if the clothes was a little bit too much for you initially. But this, when you talk about winter fragrances, man, I can't think of many fragrances that are better for the winter season. Again, you got musk in here, you have the cinnamon in here. And like I said, when it's cold outside, I love those fragrances that have that sweet, that kind of sweet dry down, like this one has with that cinnamon um, and musk combination in this. Oh man, this is so good. So good, so good, so good. Classic for a reason. I think it was well documented and highly talked about for a good reason. Love this stuff from the brand of Frederick Mall. So if you're looking for something for the winter, Again, these are some of the fragrances I would say come highly recommended uh, for me for you to try. From the brand of Frederick Mall, guys, check it out. This is a classic. This is Must Rabbit Show. What's good, guys? This is Guy, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. And I just want to let you guys know about a sale that I am running with Novelist Parfum for my collection, guys. If you're not aware, I did a collection with Novelist Parfum. I did five fragrances. And listen, for the next couple weeks, we're going to run a sale. You buy one fragrance, use the code BOWTIE30, you'll get 30% off. But if you buy two or more, 50% off. That's crazy. It's the winter season. If you're looking for a great gourmand, grab Divine Aphrodisiac. This has a beautiful peanut butter, accord, coffee, and Indian sesame. Amazing gourmand fragrance. If you're looking for the perfect signature scent, grab Sartorial Nui. This is tonka bean, vanilla, sandalwood, and lavender. 
And if you're looking for the compliment machine, grab Old Debonair. This has florals, but it also has oak moss, musk, and ambroxan. This will get you a lot of compliments. And also another signature scent, this is Lyric. Hands down, this is just one of the best fragrances on the planet. All right, guys, so head over to Navida Spot Farm. Don't forget to use the discount code Bowtie30. If you buy one, Bowtie50. If you buy two or more, and get some holiday savings. I'll let you on the flip side. Peace. All right, guys, the next fragrance that I will give a perfect 10 out of 10 rating to as it relates to winter fragrances comes from the brand of uh, Sense of Woods, and this is called Plum and Cognac. Plum and cognac. And of course, as the name indicates, you're gonna get plum in this fragrance, but you also get rum, labdanum, and immortelle. This is so good. Listen, guys, if you missed out on a chance to get the discontinued plum dapone from Tom Ford, you may want to give this a try. It's not an exact, of course, uh, like a clone of plum dapone, but it does use highlight the note of plum, and it has this very sweet balsamic uh, kind of resinous dry down, which um, you also got from Plum Japone, but it's done in a different way again. It has, of course, the booziness in here from the rum, and what I love about it really on that dry down is that Immortelle. It's really sweet and honeyed like Immortelle in this fragrance. Just, again, a phenomenal fragrance that I wish everybody could put their nose on this. Over the past, you know, year or so, I've become a huge fan of the note of Plum, and I love it because it's not an overly sweet note. I mean, like apple is kind of sweet. You know, a lot of uh, notes that would fall in the citrus or fruit kind of uh, category, a lot really sweet. This is kind of sweet. So it's not overly sweet. And I think it works well in scent profiles like this, like ambery fragrances, tobacco fragrances, boozy fragrances. I think plum is the perfect note to utilize. This is so good, man. I think you guys need to check it out from the brand of Scents of Woods. This is called Plum and Cognac. Guys, when you think about a masterpiece and you think about the season of winter, uh, this fragrance definitely uh, comes to my mind in my collection. Now, there are several from this brand uh, that can make this list. That's why this was kind of, I would say this is going to be like a series because I'm going to do another installment um, of this particular video. But anyway, um, from the brand of Unwash, man, this is Overture, man. Overture, man. What you're gonna get with this is cognac, cumin, cinnamon, nutmeg, incense, leather, and benzoin are some of the notes in this. Oh my God, this is so good, man. Smoky, incensey fragrances. To me, winter is a perfect season to wear those kind of scent profile. Now, of course, you have people out there that say, you know, that ascribe to the fact of the mindset that you can wear what you want, when you want, and that's 100% correct. You can take this fragrance and you can you can spray two to 20 sprays of this in the summertime. If that's you, cool, do you. I do think that it is more appropriate or fragrances come off better certain times of the year based on the weather, all right? To me, wearing a fragrance like this in the, in the uh, summer or the spring would just be very cloying because it's really incense and smoky. You got leather in here and stuff like that. But anyway, when you talk about the winter season, incense, smoke, uh, oud fragrances, amber fragrances, boozy fragrances. The winter time is a perfect season for that and you get all that in this fragrance. Sincerely, this is a masterpiece. You guys need to check it out. It's not like a mass appealing, easy to wear kind of scent, but I think true connoisseurs of fragrances will really appreciate this. You look at the quality, how it's done, uh, the uh, way it kind of transitions from opening to the dry down, which the dry down to me is when it really gets good because you get this cinnamon nutmeg combination in the heart and then that dry down, man. Listen, check it out, all right? From the brand of uh, I'm Wise, this is Overture, man. All right, the next fragrance comes from the brand of Parfums and Marley, another brand where, of course, in this next installment, you're probably going to see another fragrance from this brand. But for this inaugural initial list, I wanted to go with this one because uh, it's the most classic of all those that I would probably talk about. And this one is none other than Herod. This is Herod. This is cinnamon, tobacco, vanilla, and vanilla and ISO E super. Oh my gosh. Tobacco. You see a lot of fragrance notes repeated on this list. You see a lot of fragrances on this list with tobacco. Because to me, tobacco fragrances are great in cold weather. Cinnamon, my favorite spice. 
All right, so again, you start to see some of these things repeated, and this is just one of the best of that tobacco cinnamon combination that you're gonna find on the market. This is so well done. And again, when you talk about this brand, there are so many others I could have put on this list, but to me, this is what started my love affair with the brand. Apart from the I think this was my first purchase from the brand. Yeah, it was. Um, and I think this is the fragrance that got them on the map. Now, Layton take, took the brand to the next level, but this is what got them on the map initially. And if you love tobacco and cinnamon, this is a fragrance that you have to smell. It is great in cold weather. From the brand, apart from Jamali, check this one out, guys. This is Herod. All right, guys, and next up on the list, shout out to the godfather, Kevin Samuels, because he called this fragrance Sexy Pancakes. And I can't think of a better way to describe this fragrance from the brand of Bond Number 9. This is New Harlem. This is New Harlem. This is lavender, coffee, tonka, patchouli, and amber. This is so good, and that's exactly what it smells like, guys. It kind of smells like breakfast time in the morning. I'm a, if you gave me a choice to have my number one food uh, for breakfast outside of bacon, it's gonna be pancakes, all right? And this smells like pancakes, warm pancakes. Have you seen these images of pancakes where it looks like they just came out of the, uh, well, just, get, just done, and they're still hot, and you put a little, bit of butter on top and the butter is butter's kind of drizzling down the side. <laughs> I know you guys have seen that imagery before and you put just the right amount of syrup on top. That's exactly what this smells like. It's kind of a contrast because you have that kind of freshness that comes from the opening with the lavender. And then as you can see on the dry down, it's all about these more gourmand kind of elements, the coffee and all that kind of stuff in here, the tonka bean. Phenomenal fragrance. Another one that I, that I mentioned earlier, this is the other fragrance done by Maurice Roussel. So I think this is kind of his lane. I think he kind of specializes in these sweeter scent profiles. But anyway, definitely a fragrance that's a 10 out of 10 for the winter season. It was discontinued, and I'm glad they brought it back. The presentation is a little bit different now. I think the cap is a different color. I don't remember. Maybe it's a blue or something like that. But anyway, from what I understand, it smells very comparable to this. Um, check it out, guys. Now that it's available again, I can talk about it more. I don't oftentimes like to talk too much about fragrances that people can't really get their hands on, but I'm glad you guys are able to now if you would like to because it's not discontinued anymore. Get your hands on this. This is really good for the winter. From the brand of Bond Number 9, Sexy Pancakes, New Harlem. All right, guys, this next fragrance comes from the brand of Tom Ford from the Private Collection. You know what's coming now. This is Tobacco Benito. This is tobacco vanilla. Uh, what you get with this, of course, tobacco, vanilla, dried fruits, cacao. Oh my gosh. Guys, I could sing the praises of this fragrance all day long. Um, again, another fragrance that you, of course, see the note of tobacco here. Like I said earlier, tobacco to me, one of my favorite notes to wear in the uh, cooler temperatures, whether it be fall or winter time. This is one of the best tobacco fragrances on the market still to this day. All right, so that tobacco vanilla combination here. And I think what really, you know, just is the game changer for this scent profile is that dried fruits that you get in here. Just blended to perfection, an amazing fall winter fragrance. You cannot go wrong with this fragrance, man. You talk about something that you want to wear when it's cold outside, when that cold air hits this, whew, watch out, man. You check it out from the brand of Tom Ford, a cold weather monster. From the brand of Tom Ford, this is Tobacco Benito. Guys, I know it's cold outside in the wintertime most places, but I got nothing but heat on this list. And we gonna keep rolling with more heat from the brand of Roger Parfums, and that's Creation E, or wherever you're located in the world, Enigma. All right, this is Cognac Tobacco, Benzoin and vanilla as some of the main notes in this. This is so good, guys. It smells like cognac with Coca-Cola. That's what it smells like. Everybody talk about that kind of Coca-Cola feel in this fragrance. So you get that, and you get that booziness from cognac, and then when it dries down, you get those, uh, you know, that sweet combination of that uh, vanilla and benzoin. You know what I mean? So this is just an amazing fragrance. A lot of the fragrances on that I've chose for this particular uh, iteration of this um, 
video idea are classically good fragrances. I think that are liked by most. All right, and this is no different. Um, probably one of the most popular fragrances from the brand of Rosie Parfums, if not the most popular. And it just so happens that it's a great fall winter fragrance. So definitely a 10 out of 10 easily from the brand of Rosie Parfums. This is creation. All right, guys, the next fragrance that I give an easy 10 out of 10 for a masterpiece for winter fragrances. My God, this is good. From the brand of By Killian, this is Angel Share. This is Angel Share. This is Cinnamon Tonka, Cognac, and Praline. My God, man. And I failed to mention that oak note because that's so important here as well. The oak gives that, uh, that effect of Cognac aging and oak barrels and you get that here so it's like it, it smells so authentic to that idea so i love that here and then of course it is sweetened up with the other notes that i mentioned um that praline is very sweet sugary kind of lactonic and creamy and that's what you get uh with praline so you got that with the tonka bean in here vanilla this is just again if you like gourmand fragrances this is definitely one of the best gourmands on the market. Um, it has become, in my humble opinion, uh, for most people that really love the brand of By Killian, probably one of their top five fragrances easily. And that's saying something because they have a lot of great ones. Um, but anyway, this is a great fragrance. If you're looking for a sweet scent profile for the winter season, this is one of the best on the market. Um, this is Angel Share from By Killian. All right, guys, the next fragrance that I give a perfect 10 out of 10 for the winter season comes from the brand of Narcotica. You guys know how much I love this. This is called Doza. Amber Intense. Those are Amber Intense. This is incense, Sichuan pepper, amber, tobacco, and vanilla bean. Guys, I've talked a lot about this. I, I don't know what else to say about this. This is so good. I think all amber fragrance lovers need to smell this fragrance. Um, that opening... For some people, I would say it was probably going to be a little bit challenging because it's all about that smoky incense and that cypress note, which to me, sometimes cypress can be a little bit off-putting. But after about five minutes, it's just about all, it's all about sweet, resinous amber. That's what this is, man. I love this fragrance. Oh, my gosh. Guys, check this one out. It's perfect for the winter season. Again, a lot of the notes that I've talked about, uh, previously in a lot of fragrances on this list uh, the same stuff that's in here man but you guys need to check this out seriously amber is great in the fall, in the winter season so check it out from the brand narcotica this is those all right guys and the last fragrance i want to mention that i think is a 10 out of 10 masterpiece for the winter season i want to end it with one of my favorite genres of fragrances with another gourmand this is the gourmand of gourmands and this is from the brand of christian dior this is fave delicios Fab Delicios, this is lavender, cherry, tonka, vanilla, caramel, praline, cacao, benzoin, vanilla. Again, you talk, you name a gourmand note is in, <laughs> is in here. This is, as I have termed, a gourmand lover's dream. If you love sweet gourmand fragrances, you have to put your nose on this. Now, again, before it gets out of hand, this has not been on the Dior website in a while. There's rumors it's been discontinued. I don't know how true that is, but if it is, you're going to be hard pressed to find this because if this is discontinued, this thing is going to be going for seven, eight, nine hundred dollars. You can book it. You heard it here first. If this is discontinued, this 4.2 ounce bottle, which I think this is, is probably going to be going for close to a thousand bucks. Is that good? And people will miss it that much and will want to get their hands on it. That's, I'm pretty certain about that. But anyway, um, there is a clone out there. I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but still not quite this. All right. So, again, praline, tonka, that cherry. Uh, similar in the way that uh, Musk, Ravageur, Musk Ravageur opens with that kind of clean lavender note in the opening of it. Gives a little bit of contrast to it. But, man, this stuff is dynamite. You got to get your nose on it, Gourmand Fragrance Lovers. It is perfect for the winter time. This is a one of those sweater and scarf fragrances. From the brand of Christian Dior, check out Fave Delicios. But that is it, guys. That is my time. Like I said, for me, this is going to be the first installment. I'll probably do another one 
uh, next week because there are a lot of fragrances that I, well, not a lot, but there's quite a few more that I have in my collection that I would say that I would put or ascribe that 10 out of 10 masterpiece to when you talk about winter fragrances. What are some fragrances you have in your collection that you deem a 10 out of 10 that you love to wear in the winter season? I would love to hear from you down in the comment section. And as always, I sincerely appreciate you guys' time and attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do, and I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to take a few moments out to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use the information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.